Hi everyone, welcome back to another video here at the Academy at Chesterfield Golf Club. So this is all about matching up and matching up planes specifically. Having a plane and having a club that's matching up your plane with any club is so important for creating the correct speed and the consistency, strike. If this club is off plane, you're going to be inconsistent because all these top pros that you're seeing on the TV are all looking for this club to swing down the plane line. So I'm going to show you what this actually means. And I'm going to do this firstly with a driver. He's in a bit of ball mode at the moment. There's a little tennis ball, aren't you, Trev? Matching up plane. So different clubs will have different planes. Like I said, I've got this with a driver, a seven iron and a sand iron. So you can see we've got kind of three planes there. That's why Bryson DeChambeau has all his irons, I think, all his irons, the same length. So he keeps the same plane. So it kind of makes sense. With a driver, plane means, as you can see from the right hand screen, the plane means we've got this plane at address and what we're really looking to do, not necessarily backswing, but if you're looking for a one plane swing, you're looking for backswing to be the same as that, as you can see on the screen. And then uh, more importantly, you're looking for this club to be on plane halfway down. Halfway down is where the left arm is parallel to the ground for a right-handed golfer. From there, the club will do most of the work and, and the ball will get in the way. If you're away from plane, you're gonna now struggle. The club cannot swing down so it has to then you have to compensate so that's where your inconsistency is coming from so getting this plane getting this club on plane halfway down is the most important position in golf and that's why we explained about different positions before that to help that so let me show you it's going to look like a trick shot and a bit of fun which which kind of it kind of is but it's always also good to show you if you hit balls off a high tee get tread out of the way if you hit balls off a high tee or off your knees, your club is going to be relatively flat, if not horizontal to the ground. So off my knees, if you see someone trying to hit off their knees, and if you go to a trick shot artist, they will probably get someone from the crowd to do this. And nine times out of ten, people will hit the ground beforehand and jump over. Because what's happening, because the club and the plane is so flat you have to match that on the way back so that is quite unnatural especially on the way down so if you match it on the way back but you really got to match that flatness what you start here as you can see on the screen and you need to match that halfway down that's really difficult so that's why people have trouble when they hit it and they hit the ground and bounce over the top so try to mind out of the way go and lie down out of the way good boy stay there Good boy. So I'm going to hit gentle one, but we're going to try and hit one off the thing. So what I'm really trying to do is keep the club as flat as possible coming down, which basically means horizontal to the ground. It's weird because your instinct is to say, well, hold on, that's going to hit the ground, but it's not because the cent centrifugal force will keep it from hitting the ground and it will sweep into the ball. Plane from here, so I'm going to really have to get it as flat, flat as possible. Right, let's try one. Oh, this is going to be a bit stiff. Okay, nice and flat. You can see it hit that pretty well for someone who's hitting off their knees. So that's obviously an extreme version of a flat plane. So with a seven iron, we're looking for the same thing. So that's why Bryson DeChambeau has the same shaft. So he doesn't have to muck around with trying to get this club on plane, all these different planes, a bit flatter, a bit steeper with an iron. So seven iron plane. So what we're looking for, as you can see on the screen, you're looking for the club to match that, especially halfway down. Halfway back, it can be a bit steeper, I would recommend. So you can drop it in the slot. All right, let's go for it. And this is why, it's a little heavy. This is why we do all these drills on the channel to show you and get this club on plane. Elbow in, club on plane. From there, the club does the work for you. If you're not on plane, the club will not release into the ball. You will have to compensate. All these tour pros are looking for this club to swing down this plane line. So there's less manipulation. I 
Right, so that's the 7 iron. This is a wedge. Now the wedge, obviously, because you're standing closer to it, the wedge is going to have steeper plane. So we're looking for this club to be a, a little bit steeper halfway down. We're not looking for it to be flat like a driver. But it should naturally give you it because you're standing closer to it anyway. So let me show you. So the closer you get to the hole, the closer you're going to stand to it. So let's say a little chip shot. I'm going to stand pretty close to it. So my plane now is very steep. So you don't need any rounded with a chip shot. You just need it straight back and straight through. So really, the closer you get to the hole, the steeper the plane. The longer the club, obviously, the shallower the plane. So bear that in mind next time you practice. A wedge and a chip shot, you can get away with a steep plane now. With a driver, and the one off my knees was obviously an extreme version, with a driver, you're really wanting this club to be as flat as possible. That's why a lot of people struggle hitting a driver, because everyone is steep. And if you get someone to hit them off their knees, they'll probably do that because they're not matching the plane up. So the club gets heavy and hits the ground. Obviously extreme version. It's the same as someone hits it on a high tee. If you go to a, uh, a trick shot artist, he'll get someone from the crowd to hit it off a high tee. And nine times out of 10, you'll hit the halfway up the tee and the ball will drop down and everyone laughs because they're not matching this extreme flatness. You kind of need to be horizontal to the ground to hit it. Difficult. So matching plane is really another word for consistency. If you haven't got this club on plane, you're going to be inconsistent. Okay, so to the next time. Any questions, I'd love to hear from you. And we'll see you on the next one. Have a good week, and I'll see you then. Cheerio.